This is a screencast for a small, completely portable database application I developed called SnapDB. I use SnapDB for keeping lists of all manner of things, such as video games I own, books to read, home inventories, etc. If you have any sort of table-based data, you can probably make use of SnapDB. It's very easy to use. When you first start up SnapDB, you'll see a blank table with four sample columns. To add, delete, or rename columns, just right-click the table header and choose the appropriate item from the menu. Let's go ahead and make a simple house inventory as an example. I'm going to right-click the first column, rename it to item. For the second column, we'll rename it to location. For the third column, we'll rename it to serial number. We won't need the fourth column, so we're going to go ahead and delete it. To add a record, choose the Add Record Toolbar button. You can choose Edit Add Record from the menu or you can right click in the list view and choose add record from there. First item we'll add is a 42 inch Panasonic Plasma. It is located in the living room and its serial number is 12345. We'll add another item, we'll say 32 inch Vizio LCD. It is in the master bedroom and its serial number is 98765. You can justify the column data using the View menu. If you need to move a record up and down, you can use the toolbar buttons or use the control up and down hotkeys. If you need to insert a record, you can use the toolbar buttons up here or right click, say Insert Record Above, and we'll say Sony Blu-ray Player. It's in the master bedroom as well and its serial number is 112233. You'll notice that it inserted it above. <coughs> if you need to change data, double click a record, make your changes, hit update, and you'll notice the data is updated here. Uh, another neat feature of SnapDB is its filtering system. Ch enable it down here. You'll notice the drop down here matches the column names. So if we want to filter down to just what's in the master bedroom, we would say location contains master. And you can see the list is now just showing what's in the master bedroom. If you choose clear, the list goes back to the full database. Some other options in SnapDB. <coughs> you can export uh, all your data to a comma separated value file. You can also import uh, from tab delimited text files, from comma separated value files. Um, also if you have tab delimited data on your clipboard you can paste that directly in using the edit menu. Uh, another neat feature of SnapDB is if you package uh, SnapDB with a, a database file and on its first run <coughs> if SnapDB sees an SNMP file in there it will automatically load that up. So here you can see it's loading my uh, video game database automatically. Makes it kind of nice when, uh, when you want to send a, a database to a friend or something like that and get them up and running really quickly. Uh, other than that, that's about it for SnapDB. Thanks.